we've talked many times about when you when you take responsibility for the things of time and space it's actually arrogant because Jesus is saying you're responsible for your state of mind and you're responsible for listening and following the Holy Spirit and the instructions of the Holy Spirit and ultimately you only have one responsibility and that's to accept the atonement accept the correction that the Holy Spirit is, has already given to your mind. It's already there. The correction, the light is already there, and your one responsibility is to accept that correction. That requires a lot of undoing around the concept of responsibility, because we have believed we're responsible, responsible for, for the body, for other bodies, responsibility for children, responsibility for finances, responsibility for providing both physically and emotionally for people. And all of that is part of a web of deception that the ego has made to keep you from accepting the atonement and realizing you're divinely innocent. So this movie also will approach that theme as well. And then the last one is feeling controlled by the world. That is part of a general sense of being, believing that you've been victimized by an external world and that this external world, whether it's parents, families, partners, governments, uh, or various cultures, um, even if you believe you were born in a repressive culture, or maybe, why was I born into a, a kind of a male-dominated, uh, perverse uh, culture? How did that happen? Well, the victimization mentality is part of the, the belief that you can separate from God. And then when you project that belief in abuse, abandonment, betrayal, onto the world, then you just put, pin it onto different characters. You say, the father did this to me, the mother did this to me, my society did this to me, and you just remain in a victim mentality and will seem to suffer and die, even though that's just part of a, of a, of a belief system that has no reality. If your mind believes in it, then you actually do experience those feelings. You feel hurt, you feel sad, you feel powerless and helpless. If you believe in the ego, those kind of feelings are inevitable results of believing in something that God didn't create. God has nothing to do with any of those feelings. But if you believe it, then, then you will perceive it and you will even say that you have a history of it. And you can tell people that your stories of what happened to you and when it happened to you and how it happened to you. And none of those stories really have anything to do with reality.